This is a tutorial example on how to use ODEint uh, function within Python to integrate differential equations. Come to the course website, apmonitor.com slash CHE263. And then if you scroll down on Python, down to dynamic simulation. Uh, we've shown this in the past on uh, discretizing with Euler's method. Uh, we're, that was the first way of doing this. The second way that we're going to be showing here is how to use the SciPy. Uh, integrate ODE int function uh, to do this same problem. So if you want to follow along, here is the um, the problem right here under gravity drain tank problem. And uh, I'll just go ahead and switch over here to mark this up a little bit. Um, okay, so we have these uh, cylindrical dual gravity tanks, uh, drain tanks with uh, constant cross-sectional area and a maximum height of one meter. So if it fills over, then it, uh, it, it spills over, okay? And um, we have the inlet flow right here. We have the intermediate flow. This goes out of this tank and then into the second tank. And then we also have the uh, gravity flow out of the second tank, okay? So we have two differential equations, one that is for the height one and then another one right here that is for height two. Okay, and then we have these outlet flows, okay, defined here, and uh, the C1 and C2 for those are given here. Okay, so we have, um, you know, some delta T and final time. This is when we were using the Euler's method, so we're not gonna use that method. We're gonna use the ODE uh, int function within Python to integrate this. If you're familiar with MATLAB, that would be like an ODE23 or ODE15S. That would be MATLAB, uh, for example. Uh, this is going to be in Python. Okay, so uh, we want to integrate this and have the uh, integrator do our discretization for us. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, create a new, uh, in this case, I'll just go ahead and create um, a new file here. We'll go ahead and open up um, IPython and then from IPython we'll type in our function and then be able to plot some of these uh, results. Okay, so we have IPython notebook. We'll open that up and it'll bring up a web page and, um, and then we'll just create a new IPython notebook off to the right here. A uh, new IPython notebook and then go ahead and start. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is just import uh, NumPy as NP, um, and then uh, also for plotting purposes, I'll import, import matplot uh, lib uh, dot pyplot um, as pyplot as plt. Uh, but before I do that, if I'm in um, IPython, I have to remember to do uh, matplotlib uh, inline to be able to show those. Um, and then the other one that I want to use is uh, from SciPy. Uh, we'll do the integrate uh, package, and there is a function as part of that that's called the ODE int, and we'll just go ahead and import that. Okay, so we'll import all of those, and then let me go ahead and insert a cell below. Okay, so um, we want to define a new uh, function that we're going to integrate and that will be the tank function, and I'll have my heights of my tank, and then also time. Okay, so I'll, um, I'll bring this over to the side a little bit, just so we can uh, see some of our equations as we're developing this. Okay, and I'll put this right over here. All right. Um, okay, so we have some of our functions here. We have um, our tank. Um, you know, we could have some constants like C1 is going to be 0.13, C2 uh, 0 0.2, the cross-sectional area is 2. Um, our, we have our Q inflow, which is 0 0.5, um, and then Q out um, is going to be C1 times H0, our very first uh, height, uh, to the 0 0.5. And then the same thing for Q out uh, two, so Q out one, Q out two, and then just change the um, the values there. Okay, so uh, and then we have our differential equations: dH/dt one. 
uh, that is going to be equal to q in minus q out, uh, q out one uh, divided by ac. And let's do our second differential equation uh, that's listed there in the problem statement. So q out one minus q out two. And then that is going to be divided by the cross-sectional area as well. Okay, now we um, now let's go ahead and just simulate it uh, with this. I'll add the overflow conditions later. Um, so I need to return uh, dH dt. That's going to be a combination of dH dt1 and dH uh, dt2. Okay, so I'm going to put those together and then return dH dt. Okay, let's go ahead and just print out what happens when um, I put in certain values. So let's say I just print a tank when I have heights of 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 and then at time equals uh, 0 0.5, okay? And let me put some parentheses there and just see if that evaluates. Okay, so it says invalid uh, syntax. Hmm, okay, I've got a, so I have my tank, my off on my parentheses. Okay, there it is, off of my parentheses. Okay, so it, what it returns are the derivative values um, at the different, um, at the different heights that I have. And time really didn't matter here. If I put in 1.5, it would still give me the same answer. I could have put in um, at certain times Let's say um, if time is greater than 0 0.5, then Q in equals one value, but um, else uh, Q in equals um, another value. Okay, so for the first 0 0.5 hours, it'll be one, and then after that, it'll be 0 0.5. Okay, and then it will be, uh, mm, let's see, let me change that, 1.5, okay. So 0 0.5 and then 1.5. So I can do that and then it will change, uh, it'll change these values because Q in changed to a different value. Okay, so let's, um, let's go through and have an integrator now, integrate this function for us. And, and so what we'll use is, um, we'll use the ODE int. Okay, and that's gonna be ODE int and then I'll have my tank function. I have my, um, I'm gonna have my initial heights and then my time. So I need to define my initial heights first. Um, and that is just gonna be a zero, a zero. And then my times, I could do numpy, for example, lin space between zero and 10. So I wanna see it at all of those points. And maybe I want um, you know, 21 values, just see it at 0.5 intervals between there. Okay, so. Um, let's see if I've got this out. Let me go ahead and just solve this. Okay, and it looked like everything, no errors there. And so let me go ahead and just print out H0, print out the time, and I'll print out the Y values that were returned. Okay, so I have, um, I have all of those H0 times uh, from zero to 10 and 0.5 increments. And then I have all of these values here for H. So it doesn't really mean a lot to me. Now let me go ahead and just plot these. Um, I'll plot uh, time versus, um, hmm, let's see, that's gonna be y, and I'll just plot the first column there, um, right like that, and let's do a blue line, and do another one that's going to be the second column, and let me make that a red dashed line. Okay, so I've got some of these values, but you can see it's going to um, overflow. Um, it's gonna overflow at a certain point. Let me change this back to 0 0.5, then we can start playing with that a little bit later. Okay, so simulate it again. Um, once it gets above one, uh, tank one should overflow. So let's add the overflow conditions back in there as well. Okay, so that's gonna influence my dH dt. If it's overflowing, then my height isn't gonna be changing. So I need to put in if h0 is greater than or equal to one, um, then, and also if my, it, it wants to fill it up more. So if my derivative is positive, then I'm gonna say that my 
derivative just for my first tank is going to be equal to zero. And let me put that condition in there just for the second one. Just I know it didn't happen there, but let's just put it in there just in case it does overflow as well. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and re-simulate this. Okay, so now we have that overflow condition. You can see right here it um, on the blue line it reached to one on a height and then um, it didn't increase further. All right, let's just go ahead and make the plot just a little bit prettier here. Um, we'll add some things like, um, uh, let's see, what are some of the things that we might want to add to this plot are like an X label, a Y label, and a legend as well. Okay, so um, if we, let's see, I'm going to do PLT dot, uh, I'll do X label, and then put in time of hours, and then I'll do a Y label as well. A Y label in, uh, that'll be the height, um, and that will be in meters, and then let me put in a legend uh, to just be able to tell which one is height one and height two. I've got to put in these square brackets, and so I'll just put height one comma height two. Okay, so if I run this again, it just makes it look a little bit better with some of these heights um, and uh, the plots. Okay, so I want to I want to change one more thing about this as well. Um, one of the things I want to do is is say um, you know if I have some of these C values coming in, okay, um, I can put some extra parameters here that I don't know, and I can specify those um, be as I call that. Um, uh, so I'm going to get rid of these C1 and C2 values here, but then pass them in as arguments. Uh, so I had my height, I had my time, and then I can put some optional arguments here. So the, the state variables, the height and the time, those are only, the only two that are required. And I'm going to introduce some, a couple different optional ones. So I'll just say that C equals, and then here I'm going to make a tuple. Okay, so 0 0.2, and then I will pass it in as a, what's called a tuple. Okay, so it isn't an array. Um, and then let's just see if we get the same answer. Okay, so we did. Uh, if I change those to different values, then I might get um, a different response. Okay, I changed C1 and C2. Okay, so that concludes uh, this tutorial on how to use an ODE integrator. In MATLAB, um, I just use this ODE int function right here. I had to set up my own custom function that will return um, the derivatives as I put in the heights and the times. Um, and um, and there are other ways of doing this as well. If you come back here to the uh, course website, we also have, uh, you know, we showed this example in, in step one with discretize with Euler's method. There's also the ODE function. Uh, I also wrote a package called AP Monitor, uh, the Python, and that can do uh, a little bit more than these ODE integrators can. Uh, and also do optimization. So if you want to take a look at some of those videos as well, uh, you're welcome to.